I'm really excited today to introduce to you Avoto AI. This is AI photo editing software with a difference. Now, not only does it work really well, as you've just seen, but actually it's fast. And a lot of these photo editors using AI are slow, which is a little bit annoying when you're trying to get through your editing workflow. Today, I'm gonna to show you all of the features inside of this and how well they work. Some of the features are portrait retouching backed by AI, color and tone, background adjustments, exclusive presets and batch edits. All of this technology is backed by the AI algorithm and you're gonna see how well it works. Voto has a really easy to use interface as you will see throughout the video. Now here you can see this image. I'm gonna actually do a full photo retouch. It's gonna be portrait editing and I'm gonna show you how you can use the AI tools inside of a Voto AI to really speed up your workflow and get some of the most amazing results I've seen. So on the right hand side, you can see that there are a bunch of tools. We're gonna to start by using this one here. This is portrait retouching. Opening this up, you can see a bunch of features now available to us. Let's open up blemish removal. Zooming into the image, you can see that there's a few things that we wanna take care of. We wanna remove some of the blemishes in the skin and just smoothen the skin out a little bit. Blemish removal gives us freckle and acne. And if we push this up, have a look at what happened to the skin. In a matter of seconds, this has removed the blemishes from the skin. This is the before and then the after. Now this could take us a long time if we were doing this manually. If you've done portrait editing, you'll know it can be a lengthy process, but this has done it in the matter of seconds and it's done a great job. Now, if you wanted to use these tools individually, you've got freckle and acne, you can actually bring these down individually to have extra control. But I think this has done a great job, so I'm gonna leave it right up at 100. Skin retouching is the next tool that you can use here. If you wanted to smooth out the skin a little bit, you have that option. But this is quite interesting because it's got smooth face skin, dodge and burn. Have a look at what this does. I'm gonna push this right up. What this has done is it's actually contoured the skin or dodge and burned the skin. So this is correcting the highlights and the shadow areas. Now, if I show you the before and after, watch what happens to the light and dark areas in the image. You can see that these have been blended seamlessly together. You haven't got these harsh areas which now stand out. This is a unique feature and one which I think is really powerful. Now, if we wanted to actually smooth the skin a little bit, we could push this up and you'll notice that we'll get this nice smooth effect to the skin. I think it's important that you don't go too high on this effect though, because you wanna keep a little bit of detail in the skin. When you go too smooth and too blurred, you can end up making it look really, really fake. That's not what we're going for. If you wanted to ensure that the body of your model or subject is the same, you could actually push this up here and smooth the skin of the body as well. This is so the whole of your image actually seamlessly blends together and it looks correct. If you so happen to want to do this, you can actually change the skin color as well. So you can go through different skin colors if you wanna get the tone looking a bit different. And you've got an amount slider which you can control to push it up and down, making it more or less of an effect. Now I'm gonna go back to natural because I think it looks better. And finally, in this part, you can use something called skin radiance, which is quite nice. You can actually make the skin a bit more radiant and brighter by pushing this up as well. Facial reshape uses the AI software to control and shape parts of the face. This is incredibly powerful and it's not something that I'd use much myself, but I know that this will be very useful for certain retouchers. You can obviously do this with the face here, but it doesn't just stop there. You can do it with different parts of the face like the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose and the mouth. If I just show you quickly how this works, I can push up the thickness very quickly and you can see that it makes a seamless change and it doesn't actually change the area around it, making it look fake or stand out in any kind of way. Now that's quite unique because these kind of tools sometimes can make it look a bit sketchy around the edges, but this one seems to work really well, giving you great results. I like facial expression. This is a great little feature. Sometimes when you take photos of models, if they're a bit uneasy, a bit nervous, you don't always get the kind of expressions that you wanted or look for. And I think having this little gentle smile slider can just kind of brighten up the image a little bit 
And like, you'll just see what I mean here. If I just go before and after, you can see this just give a little bit more warmth to the image. And it's made the model look a bit more cheery and happy. If you have teeth shown in the image, you can use teeth touch up. You can whiten the teeth quite easily by pushing up the slider. Now they're not really visible in this image. And you can also do something called pretty teeth. Now this is just where you can make the teeth look a little bit more regular in shape and it just makes the whole image look nicer if you're going for that perfect edit. What would a portrait image be without a little bit of correcting to the eye area? You have the eye option here. You've got brightness. You can push this up. Now what I will say is use this sparingly. You don't want to go over the top because it brightens both the middle and the side of the eye, the white area as well. Of course, if you've got veins in the eyes, which sometimes you can experience, you can actually push this up and remove those as well. But fortunately, our model in this image has lovely white eyes. Now this is unique. You can actually add catch lights. So this is a pretty cool feature actually. This can make the eyes stand out and pop more using catch lights. So what we're gonna do is choose general, and then I'm gonna choose some of these catch lights to see which one I like the look of the most. So I think we're gonna go with this one, and now we can push up the amount just to make it a bit stronger of an effect, and there you go. The eyes just pop and stand out a little bit more. Let's just take a quick look at the before and the after, just to show you how far we've come in just a matter of minutes. This was the before, we've taken care of the skin and all the complexion and everything else, and this is the after. You can see we've come on so far just in a small amount of time. Now, if you wanted to, you've also got options to change the makeup, and this is an incredibly powerful tool as well, where you can contour the makeup of your model. You can do adjustments to the lips and the eye makeup as well. As you can see, if I push the eye makeup, it suddenly becomes more bold and vibrant but you can make further changes from there as well. You've got all of these presets which you can actually choose from so that you can have your own makeup, as you can see, and move through these until you actually find one that you like. But you don't have to go with the set look, as you can see here. You can make individual changes after, and of course you have this handy amount slider to bring the look down or bring the look up depending on your preference. Next up we have hair, and I'm gonna go through this in a moment in another image and show you a really awesome feature, remove stray hairs. It's gonna blow your mind, trust me. But you can make adjustments to the hair here and the hairline. You can change the features, like you can move the hairline up or down if you happen to want to do that, and you can fill in gaps if there's gaps in the hair as well that you want to fill in. But we're gonna look at this feature in a moment, so stay tuned. If we just zoom out a little bit now, I want you to be able to see exactly how much we've done to this image in such a short space of time. This is the before and this is the after. It really is incredible what AI software is now able to do. And in my opinion, this is probably the best software that I've seen when it comes to the photo portrait retouching side of things. It really is incredible how quick it works, how easy it is to use and the results that you can get. Now I wanna mention at this point that Avoto AI kindly sponsored the video. Using Avoto, you will get free access to all features. No need for subscriptions or complicated processes. Just sign up, log in, start using. It's always free to update to the latest version as well and get the latest new features. You only pay for exports. So you're only charged when you export an edited photo, even if the edit and export is the same image multiple times, you'll only be charged once. This means it's a simple pricing structure as well. If Oto uses the flexible credit system, one credit allows for one exported photo. Cost-effective credits. Talking about these credits, they're really cheap at four to seven cents. The more you buy, the cheaper it is. By getting with a photo, you'll save time and have more time to capture photos. It's a time saver for professionals. A photo is a great time saver designed for professionals, allowing you to focus what truly matters. Sign up with your exclusive bonus link, giving you 30 free credits, and the bonus link is in the description of the video. Now moving on to this image, I wanted to show you one of the tools which blows my mind. It's in the portrait retouching section still. We're gonna go into hair. In fact, let's quickly go to blemish removal, just again to show you how quickly this can work. I'll push this up and watch her skin change. Look at that, just a matter of seconds. Now let's go back down to the one that I was gonna show you originally hair, and then let's go to remove stray hairs. Watch this. Pushing this up has just removed all of the stray hairs from the model. 
Now, this was one of the most frustrating things to take care of when you're portrait retouching. You will know this yourselves. It can take such a long time using the healing brush, clone stamp tools, and other tools like that. And now you can take care of it in literally two or three seconds. Now, you also have the options with inside this, not just to take care of the hair outside, but the hair inside as well. So if I wanted, let's say, to just take care of the hair outside, I can do that. But then if I wanted to also take care of the hair inside, as you can see, there's a few stray hairs here, I can then push this up and it takes care of those as well individually. Super powerful, brilliant idea, absolutely love it. And this is the before and the after. Wow. The next thing we're going to look at is this brilliant AI color looks tool. It's a little bit like a preset, but actually a lot more. You see, once you choose one of these looks here, the Yavoto AI algorithm will show you the color results that best fit the scene based on the actual image. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to choose warm cinnamon for this one. And watch how the image changes. We've got this beautiful preset look, but actually if it was a preset, this might not suit the image as well. So what the AI does behind this tool is it looks at the image and uses the right colors to give you the very best result based on the image that you have. So as you can see, I can use most of these AI color looks and they will look really nice for this image. So if we then move on to something like pure love, you can see that once again, this looks really nice on the image and you can control these using this slider here. So you can apply these AI color looks to all of your images and you can get some really great results. I actually like the warm cinnamon look the most. So I'm going to go back to this one, bring it to the kind of amount that I want, which is about there. And let's just take a look at the before and after. You've almost got this beautiful Instagram look. It's just another great addition to this software. Now, if you've ever worked in a studio environment, you will know that sometimes it can get a little bit messy and things can ruin your image. I want to show you a tool inside of Avoto AI, which takes care of that in literally a second or two. Have a look at this. I'm going to go into this image right here and you can see this is a great image, really nice, but this background, really, really distracting. It kind of ruins the image. But I like the color of the background, so what do I do? Now, usually, how I take care of this is I'd have to go into the background and I'd have to use a lot of clone and stamp tool, a lot of healing brush, It'd take me a long time. And I don't want to do that. So if I go into background adjustments, I come down, there is this one tool, clean, solid background, takes care of everything. Watch this. In two seconds, literally, it's taken care of the whole background. It's removed all of the issues that we had, all of the kind of darker areas, the creases, everything which was really spoiling the image. And now it looks a lot better. But this is just one image. Let me show you another result as well. So if we go onto this image here, the setting of this studio once again is ruined. But this time it's not just the background is the issue. It's actually the floor. You can see all these dark dirt marks here which have been probably caused by kind of things being moved around and we don't want that because it ruins the image so we can take care of it using the tool so all we need to do is go back up to background adjustments click on clean solid background backdrop and here we go and it removes all of that from your image this will save so much time and this tool really is a game changer if you've ever taken a bunch of photos when you're doing a studio session or even if it's outside, you know a lot of times there is images that you want to change and you could do the same changes to all of your images and it would save a lot of time. Now, Evoto AI has a feature to take care of this. So if I come down into this image here, I like the photo, but I do want to change the background. I want to change the background color, in fact. So staying in background adjustments, you've got this great little headshot backdrop changer. It's a mouthful. <laughs> and then I can go into more. And what I want to do is choose a different background to show behind my subject. So I'm going to choose this here to make it more vibrant. And then this is going to make the image pop. So that's great. Now I know that I've got a bunch of photos which have been taken with the same lighting, the same ISO settings, everything and I want to make the same change to these. 
Now we could do a bunch of changes and make the same change if I needed to, but just for education purposes, I wanna show you how easy this is and it works. So I've got these two images here. I'm gonna press shift and click them so that they're all selected. I'm gonna come back and now I'm gonna go down to sync. And when I click this, you'll see what's gonna happen. Effect synced to two images. Now, if I come down to these images here, you can see that the effects that are on the first image have been synced to these images as well. So this has made the change really quick and nice and fast. And this is super important if you're doing jobs for clients, you want to be saving time, especially in today's environment where things can be a bit tricky. And when you go into the sync option, you can actually choose to change the sync settings. So you can change color adjustments, the portrait, retouching, the background adjustments, everything here can be individually checked and corrected. And this is super powerful. So even if you've made lots of changes to blemishes on your model's faces, you can change that as well across all your images. It's incredible how much time this is gonna save for a lot of portrait retouches. Now, I wanna sum this video up now by saying that I'm incredibly impressed by Avoto AI. And the main things I'm impressed by is how well it works, how easy it is to use, and how you really don't need any kind of level of learning before you use it. So you can be a complete beginner, come in here and start using the tools. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. And more importantly, if you're someone that's gonna benefit from this, remember to jump into the description, get hold of your 30 free credits and start using this tool in your own workflow. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.